my name is Conor McGregor. I'm a professional MMA fighter. My dream is to be world lightweight champion in the UFC. One of the most successful UFC fighters, and even boxer, Conor McGregor and his 10 rules of greatness. Probably all thinking in your head, this guy is talking absolute dribble. He's not gonna do what he says he's gonna do. He's probably all sitting there thinking that. But now here we are again, and I done what I said I was gonna do. I feed off this, I feed off this. I love this stuff. This is what gives me energy. Saying I'm chief anything. I can do what I've been dreaming of doing. Giving back to the people who have given so much to me. I just wanted to give it back and help out and just do that. And just... My mother and father are still young. Now they, now they have their feet up, they can relax, they can... They are in a new place, so it's good. That's, that's something I always dreamed of. I always, I always visualize what giving would feel like. Giving to people who have given to me, what that would feel like. I always dreamed of just showing up one day and be like, here. And that would always give me like good feelings. There is no opponent, you know what I mean? It's, it's you versus you, and I'd say I'm fighting myself in there. I'm gonna beat, I'm gonna beat myself. Not even martial arts, life, you know what I mean? It's always you versus you. If you compete, if you're competing against other people, you know what I mean? Competing against others, and you're gonna become bitter. Eventually, you'll become bitter. But if you compete against yourself, you'll become better. Hard work pace. I put in a hell of a lot of work all throughout this build up in the fight. I pumped out more content than anybody, more content than Fox, more content than ESPN, more content than B uh, BT Sport, more content than everybody on the. I'm building this media empire now myself, and we pumped out the content. I'm very proud of how it went. We consistently, daily movies I was releasing, you know, f from, from like m a month ago, every single day. You know what I mean? N nobody's doing that. So I'm very proud of it, and, and I'm very, like, the work pays, hard work pays, and we put, I put in the fucking work, and that's, that's why I'm, I'm sitting at the top. I, I put it all on the line, I show up, I perform, and I get the results from that. My sister, when I was a young kid at around 15 years of age, unsure where I was going, came to me with, with a book, The Secret, and a, preaching the law of attraction. And I was like, stop, get away from me. You're, I'm only a young kid. I didn't care about that. I wanted to just go and play. You know, I wasn't interested. I was almost laughing at it. But then I, she kept on me with it, and I eventually watched uh, a movie on it uh, and, and read some books on it. And then it started to resonate with me. like. To, to, to keep positive and have belief in where you're going and, and, and you're able to, you can almost visually create your entire world. No, not almost, you actually can. Yes. You can. And then I was like, I'm going to do that and I will do that. And then that's when I begun to practice it. I look at this year as an opportunistic year, you know what I mean? There are a lot of, there are a lot of things moving and shaking and you best believe, you know, through this situation we are faced with, you will see some amazing things take place, as you have already seen, you know what I mean? There's some, some very uh, highly in intuitive things, you know what I mean? Some, some, some things that have happened and the way people have handled things. So, you know, I just, I just look at it with, a, with an opportunist, uh, opportunistic mindset and an optimi uh, uh, very optimistic, you know, that good things will happen from it. You need to appreciate your surroundings and be grateful for it, and, and that's when good things happen. You know what I mean? But to have that bitterness and that negativity, then then things start going bad. You know what I mean? So I, I think the fact that I have them thoughts and that, the fact that I, I appreciate everything and I'm grateful for for, for the things around me and that the way things are going, that is why that's why it's going so good for me. You stare at your past and you'll end up staying there. It's okay to look back and admire it, but you carry on. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not in the business of staring, staring back at it. You know what I mean? I'm getting lost back there. Just people say you can. People say a loss can make or break a fighter. But trust me, a win can also make or break a fighter because they get comfortable with a with a win. People can get comfortable with a with a win. And 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 slack off then. Slack off on the training. Slack off on the diet. They've won one. They're winners now. That's not me, you know, you sleep, on a, you sleep on a win and you'll wake up with a loss. So I just carry on, keep doing what I'm doing. And that's why this turnaround is so good for me.
you know, confidence grows through through work ethic, through through seeing what's happening around you, and, and that's it. I put the work in, and and it's paying off. And I truly believe that my work is the correct work. What I'm doing is correct. I don't, I don't look at other. I celebrate my surroundings. I believe in my team. I always did. I don't see another successful team and run to that and be like, this is where I need to be for the best sparring. Right. I never felt like that. I believed in my surroundings from day one, and then it just grew and my confidence grew. I'm a cocky motherfucker, but if you come in and you get me, if you come in and you get me, I'll stand before you, I'll stand before everyone and say, you got me, I'll get you next time. And that's it, every human being, everyone in here at some stage, we face loss, we've all lost something. You know, yeah, we all know how, how a loser on the night feels, because we have all lost at one point or other in our lives. You need to stop putting your hand out, everyone's hand out, everyone's thing. Everyone wants things for free. Or everyone, you know what I'm saying? You've got to put in the work. You've got to grind. You've got to, you've got to go through the struggle. And you've got to get it. If you deserve it, go get it. Sometimes when you copy successful people and implement the behaviors that made them successful will make you successful and make you great. What are some of the behaviors that helped Conor McGregor achieve his greatness that you want to implement in your life? Write it in the comments below and let me hear how you're gonna become great based off of these behaviors. Take care.